Hi there. As technology goes on trial in the fight against truancy, we'll be asking whether the electronic classroom can help prevent juvenile crime. Carmen Price reports from Holland on a wet and wacky race to find the fastest bicycle that rides on water. And a new way to create a whole orchestra from a single instrument. Wow, Angela Brownridge there, thank you very much. You know, in the right hands, a virtuoso can create the almost unbelievable from an instrument. We'll be back with you in a moment, Angela. But add a little technology and you can get something completely unbelievable. Have a listen to this. That was cellist Yo-Yo Ma performing 18 months ago in the United States. Now, every sound you heard there was under his complete control. And the man behind what amounts to a computerised one-man band is composer and scientist Todd Macover with us this evening. You haven't brought the cello, you've brought a viola, but it's set up in a very similar way, isn't it, Todd? What's That's happening? right. What we're doing is creating intelligent musical instruments. Now, to do that, we have to find a way for the computer to listen to everything the performer's doing. Now, with the viola, the first step was to build this viola, which sends its sound straight to the computer. Next, if you look at the bow, there's a sensor here which measures the pressure of the hand into the bow. On the bow, there's this black strip, which is a radio transmitter. And that's picked up by an antenna on the viola, which measures the position of the bow at all times, as well as its speed. And this device on my wrist measures the subtle movements of my wrist at all times, which is very important for telling the expression of the performer. Extremely sophisticated. Let's go over to the piano because unfortunately we can't listen to the viola because it takes two days to set up, though you can listen to it in a live concert at uh, the Barbican in London on Monday. But the piano has been set up in a similar way, hasn't it, Tom? Right. Now it looks like a normal acoustic piano, but in fact it's sending in information to the computer very much like the viola did. Uh, this time there's sensors under the keys that measure everything that the pianist is doing. Uh, we can show a quick example. Uh, Angela, if you want to play a first short example, play it very quietly first. Great, thank you. Now the computer can tell that Angela is playing delicately and it leaves her alone and plays a normal piano right. sound. Now if she plays again, uh, louder, sort of mezzo forte, but kind of robotic with no expression, uh, we'll see what it does. Now that time, it adds color to uh -huh. her playing, but it adds it in a rather monotone way because it sees that she's playing without too much expression. Right. Now if she plays the same music a last time, uh, very musically, the way she normally would, uh, then you'll see that the computer will add a whole orchestra right. of sounds. Let's listen to that. extremely different there. In fact, it's yes. actually cleverer than that, isn't it? Because it's not only following the expression of the way that Angela's playing, but also the score as well. It has a score. That's right. And we can give another example where that's clearer. In this case, uh, the computer follows the score precisely that she plays. Um, it adds its own music, composing along to go with what she's playing. And uh, if she stops playing, the computer will stop with her. And if she jumps in again, the computer will start again. So why don't you try Let's that listen other? Listen to that. Now, Angela, you've actually only been with the system and the music for three days, haven't you? So what's your honest opinion of it? Brilliant. I've never played so many notes so fast in a live performance. I think it's wonderful. Hmm. All right. How about a final flourish, then? <laughs> Stunning Angela Brownridge, Todd Macover, thank you both very much indeed.